Uh, let's, besides the obvious, like Super Mario Bros. or something like that. Um, I'd say some of my favorites would be, you know, Bucky O'Hare. Oh, yeah. Is, a, is an excellent game, platformer. On these shelves here, I've got all of my Nintendo NES games, which is you know, the whole entire shelf. I've got a few odds and ends, but uh, I'd say this is my system that I collect most for, but my favorite system to collect for. Yeah, that's an amazing collection you've got there. Yeah, I've got I've got some of the rare ones, uh, you know, up here: Metal Storm, Bucky O'Hare, Gun Knack, uh, Ducktales 2, Kickmaster, Fire and Ice. So a few of those, you got Gargoyle's Quest, Scat, you know, some of, some of the higher price ones, but I mean, I've got a lot of ones that are, you know, cheaper games that I really enjoy. Yeah. Because you know, I'm probably the only person that Bad News Baseball is their favorite <laughs> for the NES. Yeah, you're, you're definitely the first person I've heard say that, yeah. but. Uh, you know, the NES has got a few good sports games. It like does. Blades of Steel, you know, Tecmo Bowl is a mm -hmm. classic. Absolutely. Favorite football game, Tecmo Super Bowl. I like you know trying to collect the the mini sets in there. I've got all the Mega Man games down here on the bottom. I see you've got all the uh, Ninja Gaidens as yeah, well. Yeah, all the Ninja Gaidens. I've got all the Castlevanias. Yeah. Uh, I've got all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games, even Tournament Fighters, which I've always heard is a rare game. I think I think I have Tournament tur Tournament Fighters. I'm not sure. I I know I've got. Uh, the Manhattan Project. You know what? I don't have tournament fighters. I, yeah. I do have the Manhattan Project. I though. bought it a long time ago, I guess, before it really jumped in price. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Double Dragon, there's so many good games. Uh, you know, different style of games on the NES. Absolutely. I like Arkanoid. That's one of my favorite games. Yeah, that's a good game. Super Nintendo is probably my next favorite system. And I think NES, I counted, I've got a little bit over. I got 403 NES cards right now. 404, I bought that card from you. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, uh, Super Nintendo, I think I've got 171 Super Nintendo cards. and you got some good boxed games, too. Yeah, good boxed games. i got a few up here. Sunset Riders and Fire Striker. Yep. And then I've got Mega Man X in the box and a few other ones. Uh, and then a couple right here. Killer Instinct and stuff. F-Zero. And then I've got all my NES stuff down here. But Super Nintendo, I've got a lot of quality on this this part of the section, mm -hmm. or this section of the shelves, I just got Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. That's that's awesome. That's a, that's a cart that I've been on the lookout for. It's really hard to find. Yeah, I trade a lot of commons in uh, to get it. Uh, I got a lot of Sega stuff. Uh, I think Sega, I've got a little over 50 games, and I've got a fair amount of them boxed, but you know, I've got some of the ones that are, I guess, are rarer. The Punisher, yeah. Like, man, Punisher's a great game. Yeah, it looks awesome. I told you the, the McDonald's Treasure Island game. Yeah. Excellent. Castlevania Bloodlines. Castlevania Bloodlines is a pricey one, too. Yeah. I actually got yeah. it at the flea market. Uh, that's awesome. Contra Hardcore, I bought from. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really Craigslist cool. Craigslist yeah. deal. I've got, you know, all my loose cards here. Growl is a good game. You know, some people may or may not have heard of them. I haven't heard of that one. Kind of a hard, harder, you know, beat em up style with yeah. animals. Uh, Blades of Vengeance is a good game I've got. Uh, one of my favorite games growing up that I played was Castle of Illusion, Mickey Mouse game. That's a good game. I see you've got the Sega Genesis version of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I do, yeah. yeah I've got, got that in Super Nintendo. That's, that's a great game. I got a few I got a few nice ones last year. I kind of got out of collecting Sega, but Truxton is you know, probably the best shooter, yeah. and, in my opinion, for that looks that looks awesome. That front cover is very attention grabbing. <laughs> yeah, and Toki. We got that last year. Yeah, uh, the Sega Genesis was an awesome console. Yeah, and Sega's amazing. I, I didn't have one, but you know, friends of mine mm -hmm. did, and so it was great. We would go to their house and play Sega. They would come to our house and play Nintendo, yeah. Super Nintendo. And I love the uh, I love the fact that the the Sega Genesis games came in a hard case. Yeah, I mean, it's way easier to find a you know, complete in the box copy of a Sega game. Yeah, it really is. People held on to their cases where, you know, even my own personal uh, games that I still have from childhood, I don't have any of the boxes. Mm -hmm. They got thrown out or crushed. Yep, real easy to happen. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, down here on the bottom, it's kind of hard to see. I've got 
you know, all of my PS2. I've got a, a few more over there. PS2, and I've got some original, uh, some original Xbox games in here as well. Yeah, I see Halo and yeah, Halo, Forza. Forza. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Wolfenstein. Castle, yeah. Wolfenstein. It's a good one. It's a great game. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yeah, you gotta play the Halo game. Absolutely. Uh, you know, those were groundbreaking when they came out. Burnout 3 Takedown mm -hmm. is a game we used to always play. And there's, you know, so many of those games, uh, it's kind of hard to collect all of them, but I always keep my eye out anytime I'm somewhere. I'd say play PlayStation 2 is probably one of your most common games you can find. This yeah, so many of them. they are. I'm covered up in them right now because they're, <laughs> they are very common and there were. I think somewhere around 1,400 games released on the PS2. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now I've got up here, I've got some components for my Turbo Graphics. The, yeah, that's the nice. For the RP, or RPGs for the uh, shooter games. The, one of the bad things about the Turbo Graphics is, is you can only plug up one controller. Really? To the system. Yeah, so I didn't know that. One of the reasons why I did poorly here, so you got this right here. It's kind of a multi tab, so you can plug up more controllers. Nice. I think I already showed it. I've got my only three turbo games, but I haven't ever drive. Which good, is good games. Good games. Yep. I was at my parents' house recently, and every time I go there, I always look for some stuff from my childhood. And I, this is a sealed Toys R Us uh, N64. Is that a v VHS? VHS tape. Wow, that's really cool. Kind of a promo thing, so I thought that yeah. was pretty cool. They're going to bring that to the game room. Especially since it's sealed. That's, yeah, yeah, it's that's, still sealed. That's awesome. Pay attention, I got one of my Sega Master Systems right here. Very nice. Looks like it's in good condition, too. Oh, yeah. I've got some Game Boy on my pool table, but I've got you know, some of my Game Boys and Game Boy uh, Color games right over here. Yeah, this is definitely... Uh, I can definitely say this is my favorite section of your game room. <laughs> it's just, some, just awesome looking at all these NES games, man. You just got uh, yeah, so up, many good games. Yeah, up here on the shelf, I've got a few more complete. Well, I guess the games are down here, but complete yeah. box games, and I've got tons of manuals all over the place here. Awesome. Uh, I've got some custom cases for some of the games. Very nice. Uh, I bought a lot of controllers a few years ago, and this was at the bottom of it, and I didn't think it would work, but it works great. It's oh, yeah. One of the mini PSs with the screen in it. So That's awesome. It was portable. You can hook it up if you're in your car or wherever you're at and play. I got a few a few extra Sega cards and random random stuff. That's just like my game room. I got random stuff <laughs> yeah. all over the place. Awesome. Yeah, all over the place. All right, cool. You ready to move on to the next section? Yeah. All right. In this section here, you know, I, I need to rework my shelf situation. I've got so much junk all over the place in here, but some of my prized pieces in my collection are some of these signs here. That sign is amazing. Yeah. That is this beautiful. This has been hanging in a game store, and a, a common problem with these I didn't realize whenever I bought this is there's a chain of, I guess, where I've been hanging up, and maybe when the store closed. Yeah. This one ever, somebody would have pulled it down, so they broke the little other piece right here. But I want to try to come up with something, but it's a you know double, double sided. Oh wow, it side. is. That's awesome, man. So, very very so, nice looking. Yeah, one, one of my favorite pieces in my collection is non video game. Very clean too. Yeah, very clean. Uh, PlayStation Two store sign still works. Same thing would have been hanging up. Uh, I need to either hang them up or you know find a good spot for it. Uh, but I like to sit in there and play video games with this, just this song sometimes at night. Uh, but down here I've got my PS1 collection. This was one of the consoles that my sister and I got new back whenever it came out in the, the mid to late 90s. And uh, I've slowly over over time started to collect them for it. And you know a lot of the games. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially the RPGs, which you know kind of are my jam. You know they've gotten really expensive, but you know, big I've time. My, yeah, I've got all my classics, my cool borders, and you know things like that. Games that I really enjoy. Jet Moto was a game we played a lot. Yeah, PlayStation One was definitely a, a yeah. good console. Yeah, it was it was huge uh, when I was a kid, and I was lucky I got to keep all of my games, and you know they all still work. They didn't get super scratched. Right. A little more PS2 stuff, and I've got some more over here. I've got things that's kind of stuck in here but I've got some that I've had since uh, I got the console new in the early mm -hmm. 2000s and I've got some that I picked up at yard sales, right. flea markets, uh, 
And same thing for the Nintendo Wii. I've got a few Wii games down here. I don't have a lot of really, really good Wii stuff, but uh, just having the system is great. I, I love just the you know the Wii Sports mm -hmm. package and uh, you know bowling and all that stuff. I see one of my favorite Wii games mixed in with the PS2 games. Oh, dude. Super Paper Mario. Oh yeah, yeah. Love that game. That is such <laughs> that is such a good game. Yeah, I got that at a yard sale uh, last year. Have you played it yet? Haven't played it. Oh man, you, you you like 2D platformers, so yeah. you're gonna it's 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 an awesome game. Awesome game. I highly recommend popping hey, it in. Check it out. Yeah. Bought a house last year and I don't have one, but it has some Atari fifty two hundred games in it. So Those are some big cartridges. Yeah, they're, they're monsters. Yeah. <laughs> the system wasn't there, unfortunately. I would like to try them and see if they work. And then on this side right here, I've got a few more PS2 games. I probably need to move it all over on one shelf. Uh you know, these are probably some of the most recent games that I've picked up that I haven't really got to go through yet. That's where they're on this shelf here. But I've got my only two box GameCube games right here. Two good games. Two good games. Uh, and I've played both of them. Definitely not a master, but mm -hmm. you know, this has got all the Sonic games on it. And Cell Damage is kind of like Twisted Metal in a way. Yeah, when I saw it at the uh, estate sale, I was like, yeah. that looks pretty interesting. I need to buy that. Yeah, that game just uh, came out on the Switch, too, on the oh, eShop. Really? Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool re release of it. I've got my small Master System collection right here. I, got a, I think I got a lot of quality here. You do, big time. Almost all of this, other than R Type and Rostan, I got it in the estate sale all at the same time. A lady had it, and she sold it all to me in, in, a, in another system. In a, it's, it's an awesome system. I wish I would have collected for it back, you know, whenever it was in its heyday. I had a Me too. NES, like a lot of people here, but uh, it was a great system. And then I've got some Atari games in here. I've got some in there, but some of your basic Atari uh, 2600 games. And then I've got just tons of random toys and junk and video game stuff kind of thrown in here. Awesome. So what, what do we have going on over here? Over here, I've got... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to collect all of my, or all of the uh, Mario stuff that I encounter. So some of the stuff I got on eBay and some of it I've got at flea markets, estate sales and thrift stores and things like that. Uh, any, anything Mario related, you know, from back in its heyday, I, I try to take over if I can, if it's a good deal on it. I understand that, Ninja I would Turtles too. too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I, think, I think anybody that grew up in the late late 80s, early 90s loved the Ninja Turtles. So. Oh yeah, my editor, he'll he'll love uh, all this Ninja Turtle <laughs> yeah. stuff. Trash cans and you know, I've got all kinds of Nintendo Power folders. That's awesome. Very, very retro. Ton yeah, tons of <laughs> retro stuff and you know, old toys. I like uh, those, uh, I really like those Super Mario Brothers 2 glasses. Those are really nice. Yeah, those are awesome. Uh, they're, they're pretty heavy duty. Uh, I found a few at, at uh, one of the big flea markets. Here. That's a big beer yeah, mug. This, yeah, this mug right here can hold two beers. Easy. Wow. They're heavy too. <laughs> wow. But they're, it says 1989 Nintendo of America Inc. So I think they were actually released by Nintendo as far as I know. Or, you know wow, Nintendo, Nintendo releasing beer mugs. I, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I could be wrong on that, but. I, I want to I wanna think that Nintendo released some yeah, beer yeah, mugs. Yeah, <laughs> I could be way wrong on that, but. Uh, hey, a Viewmaster. Yeah, Viewmaster. Awesome. Uh, I wish I had some Nintendo Viewmaster stuff. Yes, that would be I'm cool. I'm a sucker for anything, you know, anything old Nintendo. Brand. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> and then I see some more trash cans over here. Yeah, the trash cans are kind of rare and harder to find. Uh, we got a pack and win one here, but the punch out one is one that you don't see very often. Yeah, I like so, that. I like that a lot. Nintendo Power Pac Man. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the Pac-Man one's pretty cool. It's kind of uh, it's kind of brutal on the front of it. He's like eating one of the ghosts. <laughs> the ghost has a sad yeah. look on his face. Oh yeah, yeah. I, this is probably one of my favorite ones, but it's you know it's got a little bit of damage and stuff. But the artwork is still there. And then I, the other one that I have is probably the nicest one. Is that Zelda one in the corner over there? But but they're hard to find. I, I'm always on the lookout for them, and you very rarely see them. I guess they yeah. probably got you know thrown away since they were trash cans. Good stuff, man. All right, so in this section, I've got some uh, you know old tube style TVs, which are great for gaming. Um, this TV in particular, I was excited about. Uh, it's been a few years. I went to a local uh, 
community yard sale. I got there, I was one of the first people at a, at a school there, and I got this Samsung GX gaming TV for 10 bucks, and it, it worked. And I That's excited. awesome. Wow. Uh, it's one that you don't see very often, but it, it's great. It's got a great picture. I've got my turbo graphics hooked up to it with yeah. the turbo ever drive. Is that a big speaker on the top of it? It is, yeah. yeah. It's got a speaker here, and it's got speakers on the doors here, so it's, wow. it's designed for gaming. Yeah. And, uh, I think the only thing that I'm missing is the remote, and I, I, I think that there was an antenna here, which yeah. I really need that for just gaming. But uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. This, this is one of the sections, or one of the things in my game where I, I want to change. I got a lot of things sitting on the floor, but I need to get more shelves, so I'm working on that. And you know, I play a lot of 64 in here, so I've got my 64 on this little shelf. I got from Toys R Us actually, and I got my PS2 Slim extra controllers and in here I've got a hodgepodge of controllers and things if I can even get it open but in here I've got two of the original Xboxes that are yeah. you know modded with loaded with tons of games you know even some of the Xbox games are loaded on there yeah Nathan uh, Nathan has one that's modded as well it's pretty cool yeah yeah, yeah in, in my actual bedroom I've got a you know one of the Halo green ones that's modded but these are just the original black yeah which, and they all play the same a few of my favorite systems right here, so I play these a lot. So in this section, I got more old TVs. I've got uh, my Sega Genesis over here with the EverDrive plugged in there. TV VCR combo. This is my original NES from my childhood. I, I don't really use it as much now since I have the uh, the top loader. So that's so that's the NES that you this had when you were a kid. NES that I grew up on. Wow, that's that's I, amazing, I, man. I reworked the pins. I, I didn't replace it, but I reworked the pins. But I just let it sit there. Yeah. Uh, 64. I kind of have games all over the place, but I've got one in the system over there. These are the games that I play the most yeah. right here. Uh, I kind of put my own labels on there. I need to get some, you know, some of the really good ones that won't peel up. Yeah, you can get them all on eBay. They're pretty pretty yeah, cheap. They're not too bad. Because I, I probably have, I didn't really count the 64 games, I probably have a little over 100. And then like any gamer, I've got uh, you know, tons and tons of mm -hmm. extra controllers. Absolutely. Sega controllers, Master System controllers, and you know, all kinds of random stuff. I've got Pat Country's big coffee table book. It was a great book for I, NES. Yeah, I've been I've been wondering about that book. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah. heavy duty. And, oh, wow. You know, it talks about every... Every game in detail. A lot of pictures too. A lot wow. of pictures That's too. That's awesome. Helpful if you're trying to figure out if you want to play or buy a game. Yeah. I've got uh, some Nintendo Power. I've got some over here, but I've got you know Nintendo Power some strategy of... guides and magazines. I, I kind of like the older ones from the NES, Super Nintendo. Era. Me too. Yeah, me too. I just started getting into collecting those. Yeah. They're, they're awesome, yeah. especially when you look at some of the, you know, the ads. And, yeah, very nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. got this case full of... Uh, That's awesome. A case full of Nintendo Powers. I like the these old strategy guide books. Mm -hmm. I found some at the flea markets here. You know, this is what you had before you had the internet. Absolutely. You know, other than friends or calling a hotline. Uh, got one of my top loaders and Game Genies and... Few other odd name controller things. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I, I got these in a box of. Uh, Is that a shell that goes around the uh, NES controller? It does. It, it, go, it clips onto a controller. Yeah. So you have a joystick. Huh. That's different. Super controller. Does it actually work? It works. Wow. Huh. I, I still like the D pad, but you know, it, it works all right. I have my giant Sony Trinitron TV that weighs like 300 pounds Whew. in here. Hope you don't ever have to move that. Yeah, I hope I never have to. Uh, but this is where I, you know, play most of my games is right here on this TV. I've got a top loader, and I've got the EverDrive game card in there, so I can play on, you know, any Nintendo game. And if I want to play one in particular, I can just go over the shelf and get one. Uh, the Master System that I play on the most right mm -hmm. here. Extra 64 games up here. Another top loader. <laughs> Another top loader. This is just a little Nintendo coin bank that I've got. Back here, I've got. We've got some plug and plays and some extra cords and controllers for the top loader. It's more Nintendo Power. The original Super Nintendo I've had since the early 90s right here. It Heck still yeah. works. What is that uh, baseball? This here? Yeah, that's that's pretty uh, neat. There's a, a guy on Facebook called Mark, or I guess a shop called Mark's Memory Box, yeah. and they make these little shadow box uh, 
setups and I like since that. I love bad news baseball I, I got one and they sent it to me I think they did a good job so they did yeah it looks really nice interested in it, you can check them out um, I yeah uh, I got the Nintendo classic edition which I remember you know it came out it had a lot of hype and everything it's mm -hmm. good but yep. I I got mine from Europe since the uh, oh, that's American the was PAL version, yeah. Um, and it, you know, it works just the same. I got a Neo Geo Mini. It's the only Neo, Neo Geo stuff that I've ever played. But you know, for for what I'm doing, since I've never owned one, it works good for me. You know? And then I've got a few systems that I'm just now trying to get into the Dreamcast. I've got two of them right here, the sports ones. And then I've got two Game Cubes and you know a few loose games in here, but yeah. They're, uh, you know, systems that I want to get into and learn a little more about and, you know, find some good games. So I'll have to talk to you about Oh, believe me, there are plenty of good games <laughs> oh, yeah. for it. I've got some Dreamcast games I really like. Crazy Taxi, the NFL 2K game, I really like that. I never really played the Dreamcast when it was popular. But neither did I, but I, and, uh, just like you, I kind of just started getting into it. Yeah, yeah you know, a little, little too late probably to, to get, you know, all the games, but... I think it's a great system. It is, for sure. What about this Mario... Uh, oh, the box? Box, yeah. Yeah, the box uh, I got on my 30th birthday a few years ago. I uh, I got the box from a Christian thrift store. It's, it's in excellent shape. And yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. a lot of them are beat up still using those toy boxes, but I've got, I've got extra stuff in there. I've got some Super Nintendo boxes. Nice. Those are are those sealed or are they just re oh, yeah, resealed? Yeah. They were just cut, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I think that you know. Oh, I see. Yeah. They still got a little bit of the plastic on there, but these are all came from that house that I got all these for free. That they were just in there. That's awesome. Never found the games, but I got some extra plastic plug and plays, and then I've got tons of uh, super uh, not Super Nintendo Nintendo sixty four manuals. Yeah. Tons of them I got in that state sale. Uh, Last year, those are yeah, those are some of those manuals are worth a few bucks. Yeah, I, I got a big bag of them for five bucks. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, because same thing. I was like, man, some of these are worth a fair amount, and then I've, I've got a few more up there for some of the games that I have. But you know, so, I got tons of these and memory cards and everything for cheap. Sounds like I need to uh, start going to state sales more. Certain ones. Uh, it can be a gold mine if they're not, you know, trying to charge an arm and a leg. Awesome, man. So how about the uh, EverDrive stuff and some of the Game Boy stuff okay. you have over here? Yeah. And your yeah. cleaning station. Yeah. So we, I've got, I just came back from a trip and I always bring my Game Boy with me, you know, if I get stuck in traffic or, you know, if I'm waiting, waiting around. So I've got some of my, some of my good Game Boys. This is one, a game that I just got, Tailgater. It's a great game. Never heard of that. Really good. I, yeah. think, I think it's getting more expensive, but uh, got Bonk's Adventure. Nice. Quirk is kind of a puzzle style game. Mm -hmm. That uh, that game was developed by Atlas. Uh, it was Wolfenstein 3D. Is that a good version for the game? It is a good version. Yeah. The graphics are a little better than the uh, the Super Nintendo version, but the only bad thing is some of the you know the original. If you ever played the original computer version, mm -hmm. uh, the music is not there. Background music, but. Still a good port, and then the EverDrives. I've got them for you know all of my DIT or cart based systems. Mm -hmm. um, got Master System EverDrive and Nintendo EverDrive, Super Nintendo. Got two of those. That's awesome. 64 and then Game Boy, but you can get them from Stone Age Gamer. And a few of these I bought from sellers that this went ahead and had them preloaded for me. But the good thing about them is you just have a card and you put the uh, a disc in with all your yeah. bombs on there and you've got the whole library on one card. So. That's awesome. I like that a lot. So I, I still like having the physical games, but yeah. since you can't, you know, it's hard to collect them all. You can play any game and, you know, it's just like you're playing the original game. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, over here, my cleaning station, I, uh, anytime I get a new game, I like to bring it in here and take it apart. Uh, you know, I just bought this one for you, so bring it in. Pop all the screws out. I pull the game board out. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes they're really clean. A lot of times, like this one right here needs to be clean. You can see some dirt on the pins. There. Yeah, I see that a lot on, on these uh, boards. Yeah. You always want to make sure that, you know, whatever you're buying, it's a you know legitimate cart. Mm -hmm. so you can 
So this is a Spots game board. On here it says NES 3P0. This is NES 3P, so yep. you know that's the game. The game board that's supposed to go in that game. Yeah, that's Take especially. Oh yeah, that's especially important to do with the more rare and expensive games, yeah. so you don't buy a reproduction. There's, there's a lot of people if you're you know on any of those Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram game boards or anything like that that if you're not sure you can post a picture and they'll they'll tell you what it's supposed to look like. Right, right. There's a lot of people that have you know a little bit of everything, but this is my my station where I like to work on all my stuff and. Mm -hmm. Once I get my games cleaned up and test them and everything, I'll play them and then put them on the shelf and then they're good to go. That's awesome. What was, do you have, uh, you, in the interview, you mentioned a cleaning solution that you buy online. Do oh, you yeah. have that by chance? I'd like to check I that out. Stuff, uh, I, don't, I don't guess it necessarily has any any particular name. It says oh, yeah. cleaning paste, but he's taking it, shake it up, and you just need a little bit on the Q tip. Yeah. Put a little bit on the Q tip, rub it on the pens, and then. You let it sit there for a minute, it'll drop a little bit. And yeah. I'll take a, uh, like a lint, lint free cloth or a shop towel. Yeah. Get all that paste off, let it dry again for a minute, and then you know, nine times out of ten, or usually it'll get them to fire right up. That's awesome. Unless it has, you know, some kind of other issue. Mm -hmm. This right here usually does it. I get that from eBay. It's five dollars or less, I think, for the clean solution. Cool. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to find a. Uh, I'll try to find a link to that on eBay, and I'll throw it okay. in the description yeah, for people. Yeah, yeah. I, I can. I can give you that info. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. And also the uh, the EverDrive guy you mentioned. What'd you say, Stone Age Gamer? Uh, the, you can buy the cards from Stone Age Gamer. They got a website, and you can buy any of that. And then there's a a guy on eBay that I would buy them from that. He already had them kind of preloaded with some games, but you know, if you're savvy with the computer, you can do your own ROMs. That way, you know you're getting the best ones. But I haven't really had any issues with any of them, you know, having bad ROMs or anything like that. Awesome, Anthony, man, I really appreciate you letting me into your home like this. Uh, you know, somebody you barely know. You know that that I, that means a lot. I appreciate that and That's letting sad. me interview you and check out your game room. Uh, had an awesome time, man. Yes, appreciate sir. it. Appreciate and it. And I hope you had a good time too. Oh yeah, I had a blast. Awesome. I appreciate awesome. you coming out and checking out the game room. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing collection. And and I hope you all you people out there enjoyed the interview and enjoyed checking out Anthony's game game room. He definitely has an amazing collection. Has a lot of really cool stuff. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure and hit that like button and let us know in the comments down below what some of your favorite things are that you saw in Anthony's collection or. If you have any follow-up questions for Anthony, maybe we can uh, maybe we can answer those in the comments. And uh, I will leave Anthony's Instagram profile name in the description down below. Go check out his Instagram profile. He, he shows off his game collection. He also shows off a lot of the cool stuff that he finds metal detecting. Mm -hmm. so, so you can see a lot of the stuff that, that we talked about in the interview towards the end. And, uh, you know, show Anthony some love on his on his Instagram page because he's got a lot of cool stuff there. And in case you missed episode one where I interviewed Nathan, I'll also leave a link to that in the description down below. As I said last time, I'm going to try to at least do one of these a month, provided I can find somebody like Anthony willing to uh, to let me come and interview them and check out their, uh, their game collection. Until the next episode, keep playing games and having a good time. Later.